the small island of Daru off Papua New Guinea's south coast, days start and end on the water. But Peter James has been coming out to these reefs to dive for crayfish for 13 years. I dive uh, to sustain my uh, family's uh, daily life and uh, pay my uh, children's uh, school fee. They are clothing. Every day I come out and fish. It's a way of life for thousands of people who live in the Torres Strait. Now their seafood has caught the eye of the world's biggest fishing industry. We're still worried about uh, Chinese coming in because it's a small reef. A Chinese company wants to pump $200 million into Daru to set up a commercial fishing hub. The plan has sparked alarm next door in Australia. This is where Australia meets Papua New Guinea. There are Australian islands only kilometres away from the Papua New Guinean coastline. Under an agreement between Australia and PNG, only traditional fishing is permitted in the waters between the two countries. Commercial scale fisheries, Mr President, would not be considered a traditional activity under the Torres Strait Treaty and would not be permitted. National security concerns have also been raised. There are other areas, very significant areas, in uh, Papua New Guinea's vast uh, maritime territory um, which are of much greater potential from a fisheries perspective. So it does seem to me, uh, and I'm not a fisheries expert, uh, to be a little unusual that uh, Daru of all places is an area of such focus. There's already a modest seafood export industry in Daru, selling local catch to international markets. Merrimi Minor has been in the game since 1985. When did they bring this fish in? Uh, yesterday. He's now worried about waters being depleted. I'm worrying about the fish stock. There's all kind of things Chinese will collect. And history has shown uh, areas they have worked that almost depleted all kind of resources where they operated in the well. Officials from Australia's Department of Foreign Affairs travelled to Daru this month to discuss the Chinese proposal with local businesses, leaders and villagers. All the villages that are located in, in, in this coastline here... Um, um, Village leaders say the proposal could impact their livelihoods. We do not have excess land at the back of where our villages are located. That all belongs to what we call bush people, our inland people. And uh, there is no economic benefit back there. Today, PNG's Prime Minister James Morape told 7.30 he's spoken with Scott Morrison about the proposal and stressed it doesn't have final approval. And I said, same, same reply. I said, this is just a, uh, someone imagining that there's a project there. Someone maybe think you're putting a project there. Australia is the biggest international donor in Daru, pouring millions into the island, particularly to help with health issues. But Daru is still crying out for development, which is why some people here say they would support the Chinese fisheries proposal in the hope it would bring much needed jobs and money to the region. Because Australia is not going to offer anything, then definitely people are all going to go for China. It is that serious for Australia to really consider. Revelations of another Chinese proposal for the region have again increased pressure on Australia. A company has floated an idea to build a multi-billion dollar new Daru city, but the Prime Minister says he isn't aware of it. As I said, if it is genuine, big investor who want to come in, of course the requirements of investment that they must comply with. But certainly in some hotspots and sensitive areas, we're also mindful of investments that may come uh, under the umbrella of investment, but may not be certainly the type of investments we want in certain areas. Australia certainly doesn't need to panic about China in Papua New Guinea. I don't think it is panicking about, about China in Papua New Guinea. I think China, Australia needs to keep a steady eye on developments there 
but it can be quite confident about the strength of its own relationships. In Daru, global politics has local impacts. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.